Thanks, Jen. This morning, we're waking up to bitterly cold temperatures all across the tri-state. Local 12's Clancy Burke is live with some cold weather survival tips. Clancy? Hey, Sheila, as someone who wears ski pants in anything less than 40 degrees, I'm not happy right now. I just checked my app. It is eight degrees where I am. And while I can't change that number, I can change how I feel at least to an extent. I talked to the doctor from TriHealth and I asked her, what are her top tips? The first one, I mean, stay home. If you don't have to leave your house, especially if you have little ones or maybe you are an older adult, just stay home. But of course, not all of us can do that. So she gave me some other tips for those of us who have to leave our homes. The first one is you want to protect your ears, your toes, your nose, also your fingers. I mean, this is so important because these are the first places you will get frostbite. Another tip is to stay hydrated. And on a 90 degree day, this is easy to remember to do. But with these cold temperatures, you might not want to drink a lot of water. You have to, though, and it helps regulate your body temperature. Speaking of which, avoid alcohol. A lot of people think it'll make you warmer. No, it does the opposite. These temperatures are not just uncomfortable to be in. They are flat out dangerous at times because with wind chills, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, you can get frostbite in less than 30 minutes. Take a listen. You can, um, you know, dam have damage, permanent damage to your muscles and your tendons as well and your blood vessels. Um, and you can get gangrene even and uh, get amputation, need amputations for something like this. And I mentioned frostbite before, but that is not the only danger. Another one is hypothermia, which is when your core body temperature drops below 95 degrees. Some of those symptoms and warning signs include shivering, uh, obviously just being extremely cold, really feeling that confusion, memory loss, exhaustion. If you are experiencing any of those, seek medical help immediately. For now, reporting live, Clancy Burke, Local 12 News. Also a good idea to prepare for power outages. Make sure you have extra food and water, flashlight with extra batteries, first aid supplies, and extra medicine.